MRI scans can now be used to read emotions in the human brain, claim scientists. A new study shows that the brain scanning technology can pinpoint specific emotions while a person is experiencing them. Researchers from Duke University claim to be able to see these emotions flickering across the brain. It's getting to be a bit like mind reading, said Kevin Labar, a professor of psychology and neuroscience at Duke. Earlier studies have shown that functional MRI can identify whether a person is thinking about a face or a house. Our study is the first to show that specific emotions like fear and anger can be decoded from these scans as well. The researchers applied new statistics to existing scans of brain activity in order to pinpoint different emotions as networks of activity across areas of the conscious and unconscious brain. These networks were first mapped by the team in a March 2015 paper in the journal Social, Cognitive and Defective Neuroscience. The researchers identified seven different patterns of brain activity reflecting contentment, amusement, surprise, fear, anger, sadness and neutrality. To build these emotion maps, the team used an MRI scanner to monitor the brains of 32 participants while they were exposed to two music clips and two film clips. The clips were chosen to evoke each of the seven emotions. The participants also completed questionnaires on their mood. A machine learning algorithm was then presented with the data and tasked with finding a pattern then related to each emotional stimulus. Having learned what each of the seven emotional states ought to look like, the algorithm was then given the scans of the rest of the group and asked to identify their emotional states without knowing which emotion prompt they received. The new study, published in the journal Plows Biology, followed up on this by scanning 21 participants who were not offered any kind of stimuli but were told to let their minds wander. Every 30 seconds, they responded to a questionnaire about their current emotional state. Data for the whole brain was collected every two seconds and each of these individual scans was compared to the seven emotion patterns. The team examined the scanner data for the 10 seconds before each mood report was given by the participants. It found that the algorithm accurately predicted the moods that the subject said they were experiencing. What's more, each subject showed significant signals of anxiety at the beginning of each test when they entered the confined, noisy MRI scanner for the first time that's what you'd expect to see for most people when they first enter the machine, said Professor Labar. In a second group of 499 subjects being scanned for the Duke Neurogenetic Study, the researchers had them rest in the scanner for nearly nine minutes, and then asked them how depressed and anxious they felt after the scanning session. We found that the cumulative presence of our sad emotion map, summed over time, predicted their depression scores, and the cumulative presence of our fear emotion map predicted their anxiety scores, Professor Labar said. The larger group was also tested for personality measures of depression, anxiety and angry hostility. Again, the maps for depression and anxiety closely mirrored these measures. We also show that the cumulative presence of our angry emotion map predicted individuals' angry hostility traits, Professor Labar said. The breakthrough could be useful for studying people who have poor insight into their emotional status, said the researchers. The technique could also be used in clinical trials to test the effectiveness of emotion-regulating drugs. In future, the team will look at the timing of the emotional states and the changes between them, which could be relevant to understanding.